Major funding for this afternoon's programming is provided by the Helena Rubinstein Foundation, a longtime supporter of outstanding children's television. The scoring system on today's Carmen San Diego is different, but the game is the same. Today's caper is presented by WQED Pittsburgh and WGBH Boston. Carmen's gang is bankrolled by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting and viewers like you. This program is brought to you by Toyota. These people want to know, where in the world is Carmen San Diego? And one of these people could find her. Jerry Lynn Huckabee. Prashant Rao. Mike Palmer. The gun two who captures Carmen San Diego will win a fabulous vacation. And this is the man who will lead the investigation. Greg Lee. Jerry Lynn, nice to see you. Rajat, how are you? Mike, nice to see you guys. All right, you ready to go to work? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, yeah. let's talk to the chief. Chief? Oh. oh. Sorry, this is weird. Oh. You okay? Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, don't do that. All right. Carmen San Diego and her crime crew have struck again. This time, Patty Larceny did the deed in Nairobi, Kenya. It happened at the East Africa Kennel Club Dog Show. Alasa Opso, known as Opso Sinkai of Ruff Ruff, had just taken first prize honors in the show when Patty Larceny nabbed him and made her getaway. Now, this tiny breed was developed as a watchdog. These dogs barked while the big dogs did the biting. Well, now, gumshoes, you're the big dogs, and you know your job. Pursue Patty, return the dog, and most of all, get Carmen San Diego. Now, Here's the word on Little Miss Larceny. She's friendly, she's fun, she's a felon. You'll think she's a lovely young lady until she robs you blind. All right, thanks a lot, Chief. Gumshoes, here's what we're going to do. We're going to start you off with 125 Acme crime bucks. Travel to any place will cost you 10 crime bucks, but if you go to the wrong place, it'll cost you an additional 5 crime bucks. And the two of you that have the highest score at the end of this round will proceed to the next round. Got it? Got it. Okay. Chief, let's get started. All right, this fax just came in with an anonymous tip. Fly to one of the world's highest airports in the home of the Lhasa Apso breed, P.S. The region is now under Chinese control. Wait, I, th I thought it was a part of China, Chief. Well, if you ask the Chinese, they'll say it's part of China, but if you ask the Dalai Lama, he'll say it's not. All right, thanks a lot, Chief. All right, gumshoes, to what? region did Patty Larceny take the Lhasa Apso? Here are your choices. They are Taiwan, Thailand, or Tibet. Now remember the clues that we heard from the chief. It's the home of the Lhasa Apso. It's under Chinese control and Dalai Lama. Jerilyn, we'll start with you. What do you say? I picked Taiwan. Prashant, what do you think? I picked Tibet. Tibet. Mike, what do you say? I picked Tibet too. Tibet too. The answer we're looking for is Tibet. Nice job. Number two. Okay. So that means Prashant and Mike, you'll come down 10 points or 115 points. Gerilyn, you're going to come down 15 points. And that's because you uh, went to the wrong place and we had to bring you back. So that's why it cost the extra five bucks. Okay? Now, we tracked Patty through the Himalayas where a local resident had seen it all. Listen very closely to this next clue. You didn't hear it from me, but I heard she followed the Brahmaputra River down from the mountains to the sea. I mean, really, what's a nice girl like that doing on a freighter in the Bay of Bengal? What do they call that country? It was East Pakistan, but that was years ago. Thank you very much. Yuck. All right. Gum shoes. What country are we headed to next? Is it Bangladesh, Sri Lanka, or Afghanistan? Remember the things that we heard from the yak. They were Brahma, uh, Brahmaputra River, 
Bay of Bengal, and formerly East Pakistan. What do you say? I say Bangladesh. Bangladesh. What do you think, Prashant? I pick Bangladesh also. Bangladesh. Mike? So did I. Everyone says Bangladesh, and everybody is right. That's the answer we're looking for. Nice job. So, let's see. Looks like everybody is hot on the trail right now. Patty Larson, Mike, you have 105 points. Prashant, you have 105. And uh, Jerry Lynn, you have 100 points. Very close game. Anybody could do this. Nice job. Look everybody. out! Jeez. <laughs> oh, oh, this could only mean one thing. Newton, come in here, you little hooligan. Sorry about the window. Don't sort it, Newton. It's just a special effect. But now, uh, what, uh, what is this? The bolts are carrying. It's also a clue. Patty and the dog are in a country where herring and salmon are a big part of the cuisine. Most of the people live in the south, near Helsinki. So she'll probably hide in the north, above the Arctic Circle. How do you know all this stuff, Newton? I'm a gifted child. Can I have my herring back? Uh, yeah, I want you to go, want you to go along, okay? Hut, hut. Uh. Hey! Nice catch, Newton! Yeah! Do you guys, uh, Prashant, do you play any sports? Yeah. What do you play? I, uh, play soccer, and I'm on the swim team. Yeah? How about you, Mike? Um, yeah, I play soccer, basketball, and baseball. Uh-huh. How about you, Jerry Lynn? I'm a cheerleader. Not bad, not bad. Name the country, Gumshoes. Is it Ireland, Finland, or Denmark? Remember the things that we heard from Newton? Cuisine is herring and salmon, Helsinki, and above the Arctic Circle. Looks like everybody's already ready. Jerry Lynn, we'll start with you. I pick Finland. Finland. Prashant, what do you say? I said Finland also. Finland. Mike, what do you say? Finland. The answer we're looking for? Finland. Nice job. So, Jerry Lynn, that brings you down to 90. Prashant, 95. And Mike, 95. Acme Crime Bucks. Nice job. Gumshoes. Oh. Greg. Stop that. I know you're doing that. Stop that. In my office. Now. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> she always does this. Just stick around. We'll be okay. <laughs> Hang tight. I want results, Greg. I want you to find Patty. I want you to bring back that pooch. Lata or Opso, what's his yeah, name? Yeah, Lata yeah. yeah. If you get Patty, she will lead us to Carmen San Diego, and that's what I want. Now report, Buster. Okay. Well, we had a talking yak for a while, which kind of threw us for a little All bit. Right, wait. I'll sweeten the pot for the gumshoes. Well, gumshoes, find Carmen, and I will send you anywhere in the whole country. Ah, uh, Chief, we can't do that. Why not? Oh, uh, anywhere in the lower 48 states. Hey! <laughs> hey, it's still a heck of a deal! Heck of a deal! Yeah. <laughs> Go away. Yes, ma'am, okay. <laughs> Everything's okay. <laughs> hey, watch over here, if you will, please, gumshoes. We now have a ransom note that Patty sent the owner of the pooch. Watch and see what it says. If it isn't too much trouble, please bring 100 million lira to the Via de la Grofa. I'll be enjoying fettuccine at Alfredo's. If I don't get the money by the time they serve the cappuccino, Axel will become a little doggone. Molto grazia. I mean, thank you so very much. Ciao. <laughs> Nothing like a polite threat. Okay, Gumshoes, name the city. Is it Athens, Tunis, or Rome? Remember the clues that we heard from the note. Lira, Via della Scrofa, and Fettuccini. All right, looks like everybody's got their answer ready. Jerry Lynn, we'll start with you. I picked Rome. Rome. Prashant, what do you think? I picked Rome also. Okay, Mike, what do you say? Rome. He says Rome. The answer we're looking for? Rome. Nice job. Gum two. <laughs> All right, so that means, Jerry Lynn, you come down to 80, Prashant, 85, and Mike, 85, Acme Crime Bucks. Nice job, everybody. All right, uh, Patty saw us coming and left Rome with the dog in tow. But the fly on the wall has the answer. So listen very closely, if you will, please, to this important clue from the fly. My cousin says she's in New England with snarling Joe Pupnapper, international dealer in purloined pooches, hides dogs on Lake Winnipesaukee. Joe goes into the capital at Concord to buy generic dog food. Not very tasty for flies or for doggies. Oh, gee. All right.
countries, name the place. Is it Pennsylvania, New Hampshire, or Vermont? Remember the clues that we heard from the fly? New England, Lake Winnipesaukee, and the capital, Concord. Jerry Lynn, we'll start with you. I picked New Hampshire. New Hampshire. Prashant? I picked New Hampshire also. New Hampshire also. Mike, what do you say? New Hampshire. Everybody says New Hampshire. The answer we're looking for? New Hampshire. Okay. All right. Still a very close game here. Jerry Lynn, you have 70. Prashant, 75. Mike, you have 75 Acme Crime Bucks. Nice job, everybody. Now, we have this special report from a couple of special agents. Listen very closely to this next clue. Guys? Okay, here's the scoop. In 1901, people in New Mexico just hanging out, being groovy, minding their own business, when all of a sudden, bats show up. I mean, they're flying all over the place. There are, there are hundreds of bats, thousands of bats, millions of bats, billions, Sagan bats. Oh, okay, there's like, like a thousand bats, okay? Now, you know where they're coming from? Okay, check it out. They're coming from underground, from a real, live bat cave. Well, they looked underground and found 23 miles of tunnels, chambers, corridors and vaults. They even found a giant dome way there underground. And it was so cool, they decided to open a national park, turn into a national monument. So, the next time you're near the Guadalupe Mountains, tell them Penn and Teller sent you and get a free blank stare with every visit. Okay, Dom Shoes, name the national park. Is it Carl's Bad Caverns, Big Bend, or Arches? Remember the clues that we heard? New Mexico, Bats, National Park, Guadalupe Mountains. Geraldine, we'll start with you. I picked Carl's Bad Caverns. Carl's Bad Caverns. Prashant? I picked Carl's Bad Caverns. All right, Mike? I picked Carl's Bad Caverns. We're all in agreement here, and everybody is right. That's the answer we're looking for. Nice job. Okay, so Geraldine, that brings you down to 60. Prashant, down to 65. Mike, you have 65 Acme Crime Bucks. Nice job, everybody. Now, I want to remind you that this is now the final clue of this round, which means you have to decide how much you want to risk. If you're right, we'll add that amount to your score. If you're not right, we'll take it away from your score. You can risk zero, five, 10, 15, or 20 crime bucks. Now, look right over here to the part of the world where we think Patty Larceny is headed. If you know a lot about this part of the world, you want to risk a little bit more. But if you don't know very much, you may not want to risk quite so much, okay? So take a look at the map and think about it. <laughs> Okay, time's up. Everybody have your wrists ready? Geraldine, you ready? Okay. Oh. I wonder who that could be. Hold on. Hey, guys. What's up? Pretty Patty, looking for a peach. Pretty Patty, went to a southern reach. Pretty Patty, down to a town burn right to the floor. Way, way back in the Civil War. Yeah, mercy. Pretty Patty, walking down the road. Pretty Patty, where Sherman's army rode. Pretty Patty, she's left the trail that's long and true. Just look at all that doggy do. Say whoa, Pretty Patty. Yeah, rock a pole, ladies and gentlemen. Come on, let's hear it. Thanks, guys. Here we are, folks. Final clue. Name the possible city. Is it Mobile, Alabama, Charleston, South Carolina, or Atlanta, Georgia? Remember the clues that we heard. It's nicknamed the Peach State, capital of state burned during the Civil War. Jerry Lynn, you have 60 points. We're going to start with you. Before you show me the answer, how much did you risk? I risked five points. Five points. That means if you get the, this one right, you'll be tied for the lead. What'd you say? I said Atlanta. Atlanta is exactly the answer we're looking for. Nice job, Jerry Lynn. Okay. Next, Prashant, we'll start with you. You have 65. Yeah, can you stick it on it up there? Yeah, I'll help you. If you get this one right, you will take the lead. What do you say? I said Atlanta. Atlanta. Oh, yes, that is. That's the answer we're looking for. So that puts you in the lead this time with 80 prime bucks. 
Mike, you have 65 crime bucks. What did you say? How much did you risk? 15. 15. That means if you're right, you'll be tied for the lead with Prashant, and both of you will go on to the next round. I said Atlanta. <laughs> Thank you very much. Atlanta's what we're looking for. Nice job. That means Prashant and Mike, you'll be going on to the next round. Jerry Lynn, listen, you're a great detective. You did some fine work today. Thank you for joining us. And we have a special Acme travel kit that I think is going to help you in your next case. Chief? It's the official Acme Crime Net travel kit, and it includes a World Traveler's Atlas, an official Carmen watch, a Carmen sweatshirt, and a subscription to National Geographic World magazine. And our thanks for all your good work on this case. And Gumshoe, I salute you. Thanks a lot, Chief. All right, for Shot and Mike, here's what the story is. It's now time for you to go on to Atlanta. You're going to chase Patty Larceny and try to find the, uh, the pooch. But I want you to know, we don't send you out into the field unprepared. Chief, how about a briefing? The boys down at Photo Recon have put together a slideshow to give you an idea of Atlanta's layout. Now, Apsa Sinkai may be a high-class pedigree, but beneath that carefully coiffed coat beats the heart of a dog, and every dog loves to play in the grass. Hence, Atlanta Botanical Gardens, 30 acres of forest, exotic plants, and grass. Watch where you step. He could leave clues anywhere. Fox Theater features a Moorish Egyptian Art Deco design, and you know what they say, nothing attracts a crook like a Moorish Egyptian Art Deco design. Now, if you hear strange wailing, don't be surprised. The fox has the second largest organ in the nation. Patty might go someplace really far away, the past. Scope out the history center, houses, exhibits, recreating Atlanta's past. And remember the Acme model gumshoe. Any place, any time, Acme agents catch the crime, Manolis. <laughs> it just needs a little work. It's a rough draft. <laughs> He's a little polished. <laughs> well, that's the slideshow, folks. Good luck in Atlanta. Any place, any time, Acme agents are sublime. Oh, okay, guys, look, here we are, Atlanta, Georgia. Hmm? Pretty nice. Okay, let's get to work. You guys take your positions right over there. Let me show you what we've got here. Here is a list of the possible locations where you'll be able to find the puppy, Patty, and a warrant for Patty's arrest. What you have to do is connect the crook, the loot, and the warrant in a single turn. Ready? Go. Uh, City Hall. City Hall. Uh, History Hello, Center. Warren. What's that? History Center. History Center. Nothing there. Mike, your turn. City Hall. City Hall. No Fox, Fox Theater. Fox Theater. <laughs> World Congress Center. And World Congress Center. Nothing there. Okay, we know where two of them are. We're just going to try to find that one that we're missing. Okay, Prashant, your turn. Uh, City Hall. City Hall. No warrant. Fox Theater. Fox Theater. <laughs> zero Mile Post. And the oh, Zero Mile Post, okay? Nothing there. Okay, Mike, your turn. Don't let me down. We got to find her. Fort Walker. <laughs> Fox Theater. There's one. City Hall. There's two. No worries. And there's three. Nice job, Mike. Okay. Mike. We'll talk about your next adventure in just a little bit. Prashant, you were a great detective. Yeah. Prashant, listen, you were a great detective. Uh, but we're going to send you away today with the Acme Crime Net Travel Kit. Not bad. Chief? It's a pocket translator for instant translations of 14,000 words and phrases in 10 European languages. Nice work, Gumshoe. Hi, nice, Chief. Okay, Mike, listen, you've had a pretty good day. You got the uh, La uh, Lhasa Apto back and Patty Larson's in jail. Okay, Mike, we know that Carmen San Diego is still in the U.S. The question is where? Chief? All right, Mike, here's a list of the places our Acme Global Surveillance Bureau thinks Carmen may have traveled. Alaska, Idaho, Utah, Oklahoma, Texas, Minnesota, Missouri, Tennessee, Kentucky, North Carolina, New York, Pennsylvania. Over to you, Greg. All right, thanks a lot, Chief. Okay, Mike, here's what you're going to have to do. You're going to have to track Carmen San Diego through seven different states, identifying each state with its flag. Now, if you're right, you'll hear this sound. But if you're wrong, you'll hear this sound. OK, 
okay? Now, if you're wrong, if you can't find the state after two tries, just give up and go on. But if you're right and get all seven states within 45 seconds, you're going to win a trip to almost anywhere in the lower 48 United States. Sounds okay? Yeah. Sound good to you guys? Yeah. Okay, let's go up here and get your first flag. Here we go. All right, let's get 45 seconds up on, on the clock. Good luck to you, Mike. On your mark, get set, go. The birthplace of Dwight Eisenhower in the home of J.R. Ewing. Carmen went to Texas. Nicknamed, yes, nicknamed the Keystone State. Its capital city is Harrisburg. Carmen went to Pennsylvania. Yeah. Nicknamed the Beehive State. Its capital is Salt Lake City. Carmen went to Utah. A birthplace of Mickey Mantle and home of the Cowboy Hall of Fame. Carmen went to Oklahoma. Yeah, that's four. Home of the Grand Ole Opry. Elvis Presley called this state home. Carmen went to Tennessee. Yes, sir. One-fifth the size of the lower 48 states is capital is Juneau. Carmen went to Alaska. You got it. That's six. A leading producer of potatoes. The sixth name is Gem State. Carmen went to Idaho. Yes. Did he get it? How many did he get? He got seven. Did he make it? Judges? He did it. Yeah. Get away, Michael. Come here, bud. Come here. Let's come right down this way. Let's find out right now. Come here. All right. Michael, before the show, you decided on a place you wanted to go. You put it inside this envelope. I want you to hold it like this, open it up, and we'll find out where you and a parent are going to go. It is Sarasota, Florida. Let's nice job. Happy. Congratulations, Michael. There's one more thing we need to do for us, though, right? You know what it is? Yeah. Let's do it. Hit it, fellas! One, two, three, four. Back to back. Ha, 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 ha. Yes, my friends. Back to back. Ha, 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 ha. Yes, my it was a zombie jamboree Took place in the New York Cemetery It was a zombie jamboree Took place in the New York Cemetery Zombies from all parts of the island Some of them were great Calypsonians Since the season was carnival Oh, they got together in Bacchanal They were singing back, back to back Belly to belly, well I don't give a damn Cause I'm stoned Belly to belly, a zombie jamboree One female zombie, she would behave See how she's dancing out of the grave In one hand she's holding a quart of rum The other hand was knocking a conga drum The other lead singer starts to make his rhyme While the other zombie is rocking in time One bystander he had this to say It was a trip to see the zombies break away and they were singing Belly to belly, well I don't give a damn Cause I'm stone dead already Belly to belly, a zombie jamboree And they were singing Back to back, 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 back,
thinks around the world, from Vienna to Carolina. She's thinking finger felt up from Berlin down to Belize. Take you for a ride on a long boat to China. Tell me where in the world is Carmen San Diego. Steal their stolen South Korea, maybe let it come right on the red. Code body. My office. Immediately. By this way. Good man, good man. Careful. Right through the store. See you. Ah, Vincent. Right here, Vincent. A little closer. Now, Vincent, you know I'm always on the lookout for new Acme Crime Net agents, and I think you've got potential. But I want to ask you a question. You ready? Yes. All right. Listen carefully. What color are soils that contain an accumulation of iron oxide? Blue, red, or green? Green? No, it's red, Vincent, but I still think you have potential. You sharpen your skills of observation. Here's your atlas, and good luck. And remember, the Acme motto. Criminals, listen and mend your ways. The five-finger discount never pays. This program was bankrolled by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting and by viewers like you. program was brought to you by Toyota. Mm -hmm.